the Florence Nightingale Chase is next. This is another grade three, another long distance one as well. Four mile three further. And Fire Lords at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. Friendly Vantage for Darren Thompson. National Apocalypse Joshua Sullivan. Rosabelle Drop for David Robertson. The meanest cat, Padraig Hogan. And Tiama Vonas for Derek Hinton. Six runner field. And away they go. This is sometimes billed as a race that no one wants to win. Because if you win this, four mile three furlong on grade three. You're going to get a handicap mark. We're going to rule you out of pretty much all of the long distance races until Cheltenham. I get to the first of the 23. And file on the top weight down. Well, not the top weight, it's a group three. Down on his nose. Got away with it. And the meanest cat. Now on his near side is the leader. That's the hint to the second of 23, which is a ditch and then all safely over it. Actually, four in a line there. It's friendly vantage in the lead. Just with the minis cat now was near side, then National Apocalypse. Tiara Vonas, Roosevelt drop and Fire Lord. It seems all of these will be headed for the Grand National. It was the end of the season, which is probably why. Most of the horses in the Grand National will be running from out of the weights. They get to the third because sometimes we'll get a whopping great weight forward in this. Maybe there's an argument for not giving them too big a weight if they win these long distance races. But it's friendly advantage in the lead. National Apocalypse. And the meanest cat. As they come past the winning post, then two more circuits to go. And the field of six, all still on their feet. National Apocalypse is now just pushed his way to the lead. Took that one nicely. From friendly vantage on his outside second. And the meanest cat on his inside third. And then comes Fire Lord back in fourth. And here's Tioma Vonas and Roosevelt drop. After that. Fence five. I've got over that one okay as well. We've an apocalypse. And the meanest cat. Three lengths clear of friendly vantages. Now third. Final on the outside in the blue fourth. And the Robertson's hoop jacket. Roosevelt drop on the inside. And the one making a mistake there was Derek Hinton's Tioma Vonas. It's the back marker of the six. This next ditch, and we'll safely over the ditch. You want a sensible pace, and the meanest cat and national apocalypse are disputing the lead. The national apocalypse is now just beginning to assert on the inside, leading by three quarters of a length. And the meanest cat, second, five lords move through. On the outside, it's just about show third from the maroon jacketed friendly vantage. They take that next one. And that one's inside is Rosabelle Drop. And Tioma Vonas is just three ends of drift at the back. So they head towards the next fence. Final looks like he's interested in making it a leading group of three as they take this play one. Merge into a group of five again. National Apocalypse is a length up, but now it's file order moves into second. Minus Cat just being given a bit of a breather in third. Mistake there by Friendly Vantage. You've seen that one drop back a little bit as Roosevelt drop moves around the outside. Still well over a circuit to go, so I'm quite sure why they're all manoeuvring so much at the moment. Suddenly found himself four clear into this next one and chopped that one really well. Got away from it well as well. Fire is now four or five back in second. 
Roosevelt drop his third. I mean, it's Cat fourth. Randy Vantage is fifth. And then Tiama Vonas. Just a couple of lengths adrift as they take this big ditch. And Farlord will slow up that one. Apocalypse in. Clear. And five lengths or so. Two friendly vantages now. Move through into second. Then Rosabel droppers. We take a look at them from the other side of the course. And save the cameraman driving through the lake as they get through the 13th. And over that one they go. And the leader is National Apocalypse. He's still three lengths clear. Not quite so far in front as he was. A couple of fences ago. Friendly Vantage is second. Final order is third. Rosabel drop four. The meanest cat five and Tiama Vonas is now back in touch with the rest of them at the back as they come up past the big screen again. Got just one more circuit to go then in this Florence Nightingale chase. And a National Apocalypse is three lengths clear. With a friendly vantage in second. Fire Lord in third and the meanest cat fourth. In Rosebell drop. Rosebell drop got in close to that one and and subsequently dropped to the back and I think that's the first time Tioma Vonas has gone past anything for a long time but National Apocalypse is only two and a half clear now oh, Friendly Vantage, Fire Lord and the meanest cat then a gap to Tioma Vonas and Rosebell drop as they take the 15th which they all jumped okay and a decent display of jumping by these so far Chase is normally a massive field, isn't they? But just six of them today. As they get over this next one, and all over it, okay. The National Apocalypse is in the lead. On file, all the meanest cat and friendly vantage Tioma Vonas and Rosebell drop. Just maybe struggling a little bit as they get over this ditch. And all safely over the ditch. The National Apocalypse continuing to lead. On the meanest cat, second, file, all third, friendly vantage four. Gap of three then to Tioma Vonas and Rosebell drop as they swing right handed again onto this part of the track. They've still got about nine furlongs to race and five or six fences left to take. As National Apocalypse leads by two. It's over that one nicely, the meanest cat over its second. Final order over its third, friendly vantage over its fourth. Cap then to Tiama Vonas and Rosebell drop at the back. Apocalypse continuing to lead. That one's there in a long time as he comes to this next one. Jump that really well again though. I mean it's can over it well in second. Friendly Vantage third, Fire Lord fourth. Rosebell drop trying to get a bit closer again. Tioma Vonas has been relegated to last again. As they come to the 20th, that's four from home. And they're all over that safely. Fire Lord though, he's starting to struggle. And National Apocalypse has kicked on again. Three lengths clear of the meanest cat in second. Friendly Vantage back in third. Fire Lord is now struggling badly in fourth and is about to be overtaken by Rosebell. Drop Tioma Vonas has now dropped out the back, but it's National Apocalypse who's four or five clear of the meanest cat and Friendly Vantage. They're coming down towards the final three fences then in the Florence Nightingale and the leader skips over that one and gets away from it well. He's a good five or six clear of the meanest cat. Friendly Vantage back in third. Rosebell drop trying to run on. Fire Lord is well beaten. They're racing down towards the business end of the race then just a couple to take and four furlongs to go and it's National Apocalypse over the final it's the second last with a clear lead the meanest cat is trying to close in second friendly vantage looks a bit one paced in third Rosebell drop is trying to close on that one in fourth but they're swinging for home in now and he's just going to get over the final fence national apocalypse clear by five or six lengths with one to jump just got to jump it to win it meanest cat's back in second and family vantage is third Rosebell drop is back in fourth heading towards this final fence then now and the national apocalypse has just got to jump it He's five or six clear of oh, Meanest Cat in second. He comes down to it, he gets over it nicely. Meanest Cat jumped it well as well. So too did Friendly Vantage and Rosebell drop. They're not going to get anywhere near this leader. And National Apocalypse has turned the Florence Nightingale into a bit of a procession. 
and once again we see he gives Joshua Sutherland a bit of an easy lead and he doesn't give it back and racing up towards the line it's going to be National Apocalypse that's going to take it National Apocalypse wins the Florence Nightingale friendly run his second Rosebud got third mean his cap four five or a huge disappointment back in fifth and Tiama Vonas was the last one to finish but they all got round and they're probably all entry bound